everyone, Bluebear here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 1, A New Day. Woo! A long title, right? So I need, a. Uh, can I not pick up that first aid kit? I need to find that little first aid kit. Where is it gone? I need to find something to... I'd like to get over here, please. Lee? Huh? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Fight us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, let's get this first aid anyway. Just gotta try and remember all the controls for this. Let's have a look at that finger. All right, here we uh, go. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, let's bandage let's it up. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Okay. I know that I'm going to need that remote at a later date. I know I'm acting like I haven't played this one before, even though I've told you all that I have played Season 1 and I've played Season 2 before as well. But I haven't played them for years. I played the both the seasons when they first came out. Like, I waited each month for each episode to come out. That was years ago. So honestly, I've kind of forgotten a lot about it. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, was he bad? He was. I just want to be honest with her. Okay. I'm not giving her the chocolate bar. I don't particularly like her. She's already had one. I know who I can give it to. Let's go give it to Duck. He'll probably be hungry. Well, how do I get around? Oh dear. Let me go very. It's not let me go up here. Okay. Can you let me go in this direction. Oh, there's another one. That's free. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Um, also, I think the reason why, uh, Glenn and Herschel was in this... In this, uh, game... Is purely just for the fact for fans who really love Walking Dead. We can't let like anything me. happen to Ducky. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. You're welcome. I've got a spare one now, actually. I kinda wanna save that spare. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I'm not giving it to her. 
I don't like her. <laughs> it's nice of me, any. Uh, Clementine's had one. The kids have had one, so it's really my Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Hello. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Uh, what am I looking at? <sighs> Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Um, uh, I ain't seen any, to be honest. Hello? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? Actually... <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Let's go. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. Oh, this is poison. Mm, okay. mm. Think I'm be they just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Right, what I want to do... Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I need to have a look for the keys. Here we go. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. That boy's probably his brother yeah, or something. Yeah, I agree. Getting... Just need that to figure out how to get well. out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Is there anything else here as well? Can I get that? Reach that brick. Is there anything else in the floor? I've got this remote. Think you can do anything with this? I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Think you can do anything with this? Oh, I've just... You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. I need to go out. Already hasn't. Because it's not going to distract them, is it? Or is it? Oh. I got a few of them to take notice. Mm, but not enough. But not enough. Huh, oh, that's what I just said. I need to smash that window, if I remember right. I can't reach that brick. I want to. Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you do that? I know, Doug. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. 
And now we can't get back out onto the street. Great. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Is there anything else around here I can see? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I can't really see anything else that I can do. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Uh, so that needs something smash in the window. Can I talk to him? See what he's got to say. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Well, I know he does. Uh, How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. So there's nothing else like... Uh, come on. Let's head back inside. Okay. I've got to find something to uh, get that lock open. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hey, Carly. Is there anything else I can say? Oh! You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe I'll find something on the way. Get down. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Yeah. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. I might find something up here, maybe to use to pick the lock or smash the window or something. I don't know. <clears throat> right. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Uh Can go over here. We're 
little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. So, uh. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Okay, I guess we go back a minute. Can I go over here? I can go over here, okay. Well, why don't you have a look? There is, there's a screwdriver. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Uh. Question is how? Ow! Hey, man! That drew some attention. Be careful. Okay. Uh. We can do something with that car, I bet. We're going for that fellow looking near the front. Can I maybe move him then? Oh man, this is tough. I forgot how to do all of this. All right. So I, I didn't notice before, but there's a pillow here that we can get, which then... Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what could. I have in mind. I was thinking she could use her gun then, and it will, like, silence it a bit. So if we crawl over here, maybe we can kill this zombie. Maybe we can kill this zombie with the pillow. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Let's remove this car. That was sick. <laughs> and then, and then we can move this. What's in here first? Let's have a look first. Is there anything I can pick up? Oh, what is that? Let's take that. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It's coming handy. And now we go pushy push. Awesome. That was quite quiet. That's trapped him. So now I can probably go for that axe. Or maybe. Oh. Wait, no. I don't think I wanted to do that. I want to go back. I want to go back. I don't know if I can go over to that car there. Maybe. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay. <laughs> that was loud enough to have attracted them though, really, weren't it? But never mind. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Brilliant! Now I've got the uh, screwdriver. Figured that out. Right, let's go back over here then.
I was thinking if I can get that pickaxe, maybe that will come in handy later. If I can keep it. I've still got an energy bar to give to someone. <laughs> maybe I can give it to Glenn. Let's get rid of We'll do it again. That's it. Get him in the head. Get him. Okay. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Well, we've done all that. I want I want this. Yes. Should we just kill him first? Okay, you can keep that. Just keep that in your head. I'd not that I would have Dude, needed that in the future. Dude, where'd you weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Okay. All right, let's get up there. That should help. Let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. Up the stairs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Oh. Here you go, Lee. Go for it. to keep this now. Hello? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she's been bitten. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't <laughs> want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Aww. Okay. We'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Oh, you have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Okay. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Why didn't you just pass it up? Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I'll stay with her. God bless you, all right? God bless you too.
Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans Hello? of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out yep. of the pharmacy. I have got that pickaxe. Okay, first of all... Maybe I should give it to her. Oh, I can't. Oh, look! What's that? What did I pick up? I picked up a battery! Oh, I've got one then. I just need to find a second battery now. And that's the radio. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> on the hunt for uh, one more battery then. Just another battery. Just want another battery. Hey Glenn, you can have this. Here, I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids? I've already given the kids stuff. Oh. I'm gonna give it to Carly because she's a bit better. I like Carly. I'm on the hunt for another ba What's this? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. So she just need one more now. You do just need one more. Yeah. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. <laughs> thanks. Hey there. Do you want me to have another look at... La, 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 la. Get my words out. <laughs> I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Okay, can Thanks, I... by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. I just kind of want to have a little look. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. Uh... I appreciate it. Okay. I'm on the hunt for one more battery. Already been here. Can I get behind the counter? It might be a battery. Oh. How are we doing? Should hey. we go out? Wanna go have a look around outside? Sure can do. Let's have a look around. Okay. Might be able to use the pickaxe on this thing now. Boom! Awesome. Now to distract those things. I've just Carefully. gotta reach. I can't reach that brick. Well, I can if I can just open the door a bit. That's it! I'm getting there. I'll get the brick. <laughs> and then you throw the brick over there. Do it. And it is brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, 
Yeah. We're gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were here to take care of them, that helped. You gotta do it, gotta do Go on. Just need the case. Mm. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. I think I'll find a spare battery. I only need one more battery. Gotta hurry. Oops. I don't think I'm gonna get that of a battery. <laughs> Yep. Ah! 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Now I have to make a choice. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's so horrible making the choices. So horrible. Oh my god. It would have been her or him, and it's horrible that I have to go. choose. Ah! Clementine! Hey. You gotta move! Get off that! <laughs> go! Oh, thank you, buddy. Especially a good friend. Aw, oh, thanks, Kenny. I didn't get the other battery in the end, but oh well. Hey Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta. Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Are those friends by any chance Rick and Merle and Oh god I forgot the other names. <laughs> All the rest of them You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. You're going to find his friends. It's probably you guys be safe. Huh. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. He's, he's in his pizza car. Oh, great. Yeah, he's probably going to go... To Rick and whatnot, and save them in the shop from like the original actual TV program. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did. Yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. That's nice. Hello. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. 
We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Oh. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Oh, it's sad. Anyway, I need to go check on Clementine. She's looking pretty sad whilst he's talking to her. The Jumatron has this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Ugh. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man! Clementine, another thing! What do you want? You like my daughter? What? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I'm not about her, man. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Well, you watch your own. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Mm. Sure. Yeah. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Puh. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, oh, to be continued. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! No more, please! No more, please! 
<laughs> Episode 2, Staff the Help. Wow, that's that then, isn't it? Right. Honesty, lied to Herschel. You and 46% players lied to Herschel. Oh dear. Who did you save? Doc or Sean? You and 30% choose Doc? Oh, but he's a kid. Loyalty, side with Kenny. You and 54%. That's pretty close. Mercy, gave Irene the gun. You and 47%. That's close as well. Who would you save? Doug or Carly? You and 48% choose Carly. Bloody owl. Oh dear. Anyway, so that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like, you can follow me on Facebook or my second channel, which will both be in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!